Hey guys, welcome back to another Avid Max Fly Tying Tuesday. My name is Max and today we're going to be tying Garcia's Rojo Midge. Uh, this fly, tied by Greg Garcia uh, in the Umqua catalog, um, comes in a couple different colors. Uh, this one here in the vise is going to be tied a little different today. Uh, we're just going to swap out a couple of ingredients uh, but keep it very similar. Uh, so in the vise, uh, I think this fly is normally tied on the 200R from Umqua. And we're going to swap it out for the A-Rex 530, uh, which is a great little long uh, long shank, kind of like midge uh, sedge hook. So we'll start out with some uh, 70 Ultra Thread in the olive. And we're just going to lay a couple of wraps down, secure the thread on there, and snip out our tag. And we're going to take a little bunch of our uh, Sparkle Emerger yarn. And we're going to tie that right behind the eye. Now you notice the bead isn't slid down there yet, or slid up to the eye yet. So we want to keep our wraps real slim, just secure everything down, snip out our tag here, and then we'll do a quick whip finish. So we got to do this prior to sliding the bead up there. I'm going to do a whip finish, slide out my merger yarn, and whip finish. Now I can snip my thread again, and we'll slide the bead up. Now the bead's right up there, kind of hiding our thread wraps. Yeah, that's squared up and then start in with my thread again behind the bead and snip out our tag again flatten out my thread a little bit before I start working down the shank And go back to just about where the barb is at and keep that thread flat. And now we can work our wire in there. So this is the point two of the Semperfly wire. This is in chartreuse. And just to keep it even all the way up. Tie it right up to the bead and start working down the shank. on that bend of the hook and capping it right up against the end of our thread wraps and keeping our thread 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 flat working our way back up the shank trying to build a little bit of a taper flatten it out a couple of times fly definitely worth having in your box um, you know, real nice lake fly, uh, fishing in the rivers too. And then we'll start wrapping our wire, nice even segmented wraps going up the shank. And we'll capture wire in there a couple more wraps to secure it and we'll helicopter it out now I got a nice fluffy piece of peacock and we're just going to try to use one strand keeping this fly pretty slim it's a size 18 and I'm going to try and capture that right behind the bead there and then we're going to make some wraps try and keep that fluffy side up as we're wrapping up make sure you don't pull too hard try and butt them up against one another so you get a nice even fluffy thorax here and we'll get one more wrap in there 
and capture it right behind the bead. Go one in front, one behind. Snip out my peacock and then before I finish the fly with a whip finish, I'm going to trim up my sparkle emerger yarn, leaving a millimeter or two and we'll do a quick whip finish. So there you have it, Garcia's Rojo Midge in the Verde.